What do colossal giants of engineering, such as the Kanakale Bridge, Ping Tang Bridge, and the Great Belt Bridge have in common? Their marvelous suspension design that withstands the disastrous forces of earthquakes, storms, and typhoons. The construction of the world's largest bridges is a complex mechanism involving careful planning, advanced technology, and top-notch engineering. From the initial design work to building a foundation, erecting tower structures to cable installation, every process meets high-quality controls for safety measures. It's time to meet the world's biggest suspension bridges ever built that defy gravity, connect continents, and leave you in awe. The 1915 Kanakale Bridge is the world's longest suspension bridge, spanning an incredible 2,023 meters, 6,637 feet, situated in Kanakale Province in southwestern Turkey. Also the tallest bridge with a towering height of 318 meters, beating the famous Eiffel Tower. The construction began in 2017 by the engineering teams from South Korea and Turkey, costing about $2.8 billion and inaugurated in March 2022 by President Tayyip Erdogan. It spans the Dardanelles Strait, connecting the European and Asian parts of Turkey. The distinctive 318-meter red towers stand on each side of this narrow strait, supporting two kilometers of distance between them and a pair of 59,000 tons caissons are placed 40 meters underwater to make towers waterproof and earthquake proof. A total 162,000 kilometers of cable wire is used between the towers to support the main deck built with a twin box girder structure that passed the various wind tests. Located to the south of Sea of Marmara, an estimated 45,000 vehicles cross the bridge daily reducing a one-hour travel time from Anatolia to Dardanelles to six minutes. Surprisingly, the bridge is melodramatic, wrapped in national symbolism, painted in Turkish flag colors. Its 2,023 meters span represents the Turkish Republic's 100th anniversary in 2023, and 1915 refers to a World War I battle fought on this very site. The bridge will save billions of dollars, approximately $2.7 billion annually in transit costs, and improve trade and business growth in key industrial zones and ports. The bridge will also reduce traffic congestion in Istanbul by providing a direct access from Europe to the southwestern part of Turkey. The Akashi Kaiko Bridge, with a central span of 1,991 meters, 6,532 feet, connects the city of Kobe on the Japanese island of Honshu to Awaya on Awaji Island across the turbulent Akashi Strait. The megastructure was built after frequent storms that killed thousands of islanders. It has three spans and two hinged, stiffened truss-type structure with 60-meter deep-sea foundations that can withstand the fast tidal currents of approximately 4.5 meters per second. The structure weighs about 193,200 tons, supporting a 120,000-ton vertical force and clearance height of 65 meters above sea level. The foundation of the bridge is so deep that a full 20-story apartment can sit in it. About 181,000 tons of steel and 1.4 million cubic meters of concrete were used in the construction of the bridge, costing $4.3 billion. When the great Hanshin earthquake hit in 1995, the bridge's two towers moved by one meter, but remained standing, proving a marvel of human engineering. One way to enjoy the bridge is by walking the Maiko Marine Promenade, a network of walkways under the bridge's platform, about 50 meters above the water. The walkways at the base of the bridge offer breathtaking views of the bridge's interior, the Akashi Strait, and Osaka Bay. The bridge is decked with 1,700 lights, and the spectacular light show at night attracts 10,000 tourists and local visitors every day, resulting in the name Pearl Bridge.
The Yangtze-Gong Bridge in Wuhan, China is the third longest double-deck suspension bridge in the world, spanning 1,700 meters across the Yangtze River connecting the Hanyang and Wuchang districts. Its twin towers reach a staggering height of 325 meters, exceeding the height of the Statue of Liberty. Its two decks each have six lanes for vehicles and pedestrian use. The upper deck is designed for speeds of 80 km per hour and the lower deck for 60 km per hour. The upper deck of the bridge on both sides has a 2 meter wide footpath with eight sightseeing areas where people can enjoy the river scenery. The lower level has two non-motorized lanes, each 2.5 meters wide. Due to the coastal location of the Yangtze-Gong Bridge, there were frequent typhoons that hit the area, so the engineers used 49 steel girders to build each bridge deck standing at 36 meters long, 32 and a half meters wide, and 10 meters high. This means the bridge is highly safe against the strong winds and eases traffic congestion. Open for traffic in 2019, the construction of Nansha Bridge began in 2014 in Guangdong Province, China, spanning the Pearl River. It is a double suspension bridge totaling 12.89 kilometers long, linking Dongwang to Guangzhou, also known as the Humen Second Bridge. The 40.5 meter wide structure is the world's widest steel box girder suspension bridge and China's first bridge with a 5G network. The structure is strong enough to bear a maximum speed of 100 km per hour with a lifespan of 100 years. The entire steel surface is treated with an anti-skid surfacing to ensure high traffic safety and durability in wet conditions. The bridge saves approximately $1.6 billion annually in transit costs through the direct links with the cities of Shenzhen, Zhongshan, and Dongwang. With 50,000 vehicles passing through daily accommodating 18% of the total traffic. Built in Zhusheng, China at a cost of $363 million, the Zihumen Bridge boasts a main span of 1,605 meters, 5,413 feet, connecting the Jintang and Sezi Islands in the Zhushan Archipelago in the East China Sea. It's so big that it features a 95-meter underwater foundation and a steel box girder of the bridge has four-lane expressway deck with the vertical clearance of 49.5 meters. The structure is stabilized by 169 preformed parallel wire strands and eight back cables weighing 10,758 tons together. A total of 476 suspenders of different sizes were used. Zihumen Bridge is sturdy enough to resist the force of 17 super typhoons. The main deck of the bridge is an orthotropic plate with a 14 mm thick top plate and a 10 mm thick bottom plate. It is stiffened with a U-shaped rib. During the construction of the project, the engineers faced a big challenge. A marine survey discovered an underwater fault line near the bridge's foundation, and engineers had to adapt the design and construction methods to ensure it safely reaches across the fault line. The Great Belt Bridge, officially named as the East Bridge, connecting the Danish islands of New Zealand and Funen, measures an incredible span of 1,624 meters, comprises of two bridges, East Bridge and West Bridge, and a railway tunnel that links the eastern and western areas of Denmark. Before the bridge, the ferries transported 8,000 cars across the belt daily with a traveling time of one hour, but after the construction, about 35,000 cars used the structure daily, taking 12 minutes. Building the Great Belt Bridge was a massive feat, particularly the construction of the pylons for the East Bridge in the middle of the sea. The East Bridge is made up of concrete substructure and a steel superstructure. The substructure has the pylons, anchor blocks, piers, and abutments, while the superstructure has bridge spans and cables. 
The project has boosted tourism in Denmark, generating 7.2 million tourists, visiting Funen region in 2019, 12,000 jobs and movement of 72,000 trains in 2020. Osman Ghazi Bridge, located over Izmit Bay in the southern shore of the Marmara Sea, is a triple span bridge extending 1,550 meters long with a height of 252 meters. The bridge connects the Turkish city of Gebzi to the Yalova province, shortening the distance between Istanbul and Izmir by one hour. The gigantic 34,000 tons of steel used to build the bridge was sourced from Liberty Galati, Romania. Osman Ghazi Bridge has improved investment and economic development in the neighboring areas of Koseli province and Izmit, generating thousands of business opportunities, logistics hub, and industrial parks. As we admire these marvels, let's think about the amazing bridges that lie ahead in our future. What do you think they will look like? Thank you for watching and please share, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comments section.